In this video, we want to extend the idea of the average value of a function to functions of two variables. So just to refresh your memory, in Calculus 1, we define the average value of a function to be over a line segment, say, from A to B. We define the average value of the function to be 1 over the length of the line segment divided by the area under the curve on the interval from a to b. So we integrated from a to b the function f of x dx. We calculated the area under the curve and then we divided by 1 over the length of the line segment. And this was how we defined the average value of a function. So if we extend this idea into uh, three-dimensional space, we're no longer integrating over uh, intervals on the x-axis. Instead, we're integrating over regions in the xy plane. So instead of dividing by the length of a line segment, we're going to be dividing by the area of the region over which we're integrating. So the average value of a function is defined in three-dimensional space to be take the double integral over your region, uh, multiply the double integral by 1 over the area of the region over which you're integrating, and then you're doing f of xy times dA. And remember, dA is just dx dy or dy dx. So it's an error, it's a, an area in the plane. So we're taking the volume and dividing it by the area of the region, whereas in uh, Calc 1, we were taking the area under the curve and then dividing by the length of the line segment. So we're just ramping this up a dimension, ramping the concept up a dimension. So if we're asked to calculate the average value of a function over a particular region, so here we're uh, going to get the average value of the function over a rectangular region. My first step would be to draw the region I was going to integrate over. So we have a rectangular region with vertices at the origin, 0, 0, at the point 4, 0, at the point 4, 2, and over here at the point 0, 2. So we're just integrating over this rectangular region right here. And the nice thing is that we can calculate the area of this region without using calculus, we see that it has width 4 units and height 2 units. So 4 times 2 is 8 square units is the area of that region. So the A in the formula is just equal to 8. So we do 1 over 8 because it's 1 over the area of the region over which we are integrating. And if the region isn't complicated and we know a geometric formula for the area of the region, we can just do that. Otherwise we could use uh, single variable calculus techniques to calculate the area of that region. So it's going to be 1 8 and then we have to integrate over the region <clears throat> and the function is just x, so a simple example. And then we can either do d, uh, dx dy or dy dx. I think with this being an x here I'd like to do dy first so that x is treated as a constant in the first integration. I think that makes things a little bit simpler. And if we're doing dy first, that means we're running our slices parallel to the y-axis first. So we need to do y equals to y equals. So we're going to be going from y equals 0 to y equal 2. And then we run in the x direction. We'll be running from x equals 0 to x equal 4. So because we have a nice rectangular region whose boundaries are just straight lines parallel to the axes, we have very simple limits of integration. And now just integrate first with respect to y. So we're holding x constant. We can actually pull the x out and have this a 1. So this would be x times the antiderivative of 1 is just y from 0 to 2. We haven't integrated with respect to x yet, so we still have the dx. The dy is done. We integrated with respect to y. And then when we plug in the upper and the lower limits of integration, we can see the, the lower limit will zero out. So we're just going to get a 1 8 times the integral from 0 to 4. And it's going to be 2 minus 0 is 2. So we'll have a 2 times x dx sitting here. But the 2 is constant. We can factor it out. If we do that, we'll get 1 fourth in front of the integral. And now we integrate, we have 1 fourth, we integrate with respect to x, so we're going to get times 1 half 
x squared from 0 to 4. And the 1 half is a constant, can be factored out, so that's just an eighth. So we get 1 eighth times 4 squared is 16 minus 0 squared is 0. So that lower limit of integration again is just zeroing out for us. So we get 16 divided by 8 is just 2 as our average value of the function over the region R.